We can grind them pretty well, I think. Let's do five. Do we even need blue Pikmin? I don't think so. I might as well kill them because I'm gonna be. Oh. Probably about six or seven, if I had to guess. Or wait, no. Not too many. Oh, crap. Chasing me. Not <laughs> what? We have like 50, 50 purple Pikmin, so if we need 50 
two trips gets us 30, which means we need four trips. Jeez. Let's see how fast we can make it. What the hell? It's the guy that steals you. I'm worried about that guy. Wait, what? Where's the exit? Oh shit. Yeah, this will be quick. White. Yeah, it's a pretty cheap redeem too. I'll do 10 squats, real. Wow, that was fucking, that was easy. Wait, why white pick then? Where are the purples? Cave. Yeah, I know I, I know you get 15 Pikmin here. I remember. Oh! Oh my god, I forgot I don't have to grab them anymore. I believe it's layer 7 is where they pop up. Plus baby. I never played We Fit. We Fit. We Fit's pretty good. Purple. White purple. What the fuck? I don't remember this there being such a large density of mobs here before. Damn. Oh, oh, oh. 
I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. <laughs> Only four oh, more. Mean fail. God damn it. I didn't care who's next to you, but do you remember Lotus Focus? I don't. Snuck ID, do you remember Lotus Focus? Lotus Focus. What is that? Wait. Maybe this place is even better. Doesn't this one also give us like five or. five Pikmin or. Oh, let's just see how many. Maybe you get 10. If you get 10 here, I can just do this five times, and that might be quicker. Oh, we sports. No, I, I don't play. Uh, I don't have that. I only played the original. Lotus focus. Oh, wait. Wait, I remember Lotus Focus. I googled it. the purple Pikmin flower. <laughs> Fucked up. Damn. Hey, wait a minute. The president has a really fancy chair. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, That's he has so a really annoying. fancy chair in the ship. The bottom <laughs> one. Look. And it's wide. It's, oh it's way God. wider than ours. And a TV? No, I think that's like a little uh, remote controller, maybe. Probably say it's a TV there. He does have a TV? Is that just a little mini TV then? While Olimar drives? <laughs> Fucked up. It would give me a fucking headache if I tried watching TV. Even if I'm not driving. T 
Take two. Take two. Only four more. I don't really need white Pikmin right now, so... Hmm. I mean, I guess I can switch the blues out. Level five. <laughs> faster, 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 uh, faster, faster, go, 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 faster, President, faster. The Doomsday device better be worth five K. Some of the noises in this game make me feel like the doorbell's being rung, which kind of scares me a little bit. <laughs> it's, it's definitely its own kind of category, category of like environmental noises. This way, forward. Eleven purple big men. Fifteen purple big men. I don't want to see any more purple Pikmin requirements. Actually, there couldn't be any more because it's already a hundred purple Pikmin to carry that thing.
Holy shit, I could have brought less than the amount of Pikmin I need. to be evil, I could throw some blue Pikmin out of the fucking map <laughs> and, trade, and, then, and then use the candy seed things to make them red Pikmin. That's valid. I, I mean, that's a strategy. Nah, I don't want to. I don't want to kill Pikmin for no reason. You have a heart. Yeah. Damn, you get a lot of juice here. I guess we can go explore some of the other map. Since you get so much juice from doing this. Both of those are 5% chance? Oh. I do have 15. Why do we only have 7 white? Oh, it's because they're not on me right now. Right. I don't think I need them all to use the geyser, though. <laughs> have you ever played fighting games? Yeah, I have, actually. You have? Yeah. Um, let's see. We don't have to count Smash Bros, but I've played um, a little bit of Grand Blue. Not Versus, oh. just Grand Blue, the Grand Blue Fighter. Um, I also oh, played man. Hiso Tensoku, which is a Toho Fighter. Hmm. I got decent at that one, but not good. Sixty-four. Oh, I forgot to hit my mic. Uh, you're grinding up purples at this point yet? I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm trying to get that big doomsday thing. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. That's it. But since I have so much juice, I might do some of the caverns in the new island. Mm -hmm. Because, um, I have excess juice, and while grinding purple Pikmin, you're gonna be getting a lot of juice. So I should, like, make use of the juice instead of being capped on it. But I'm gonna do one more round of purple Pikmin before I depart. Wait, you're capped on juice? Look at my- I have 10 have purple juice. Oh, okay. Pretty close. I, I have a feeling you are. There's no cap? 
There's no cap. Oh. No cap? No cap. On God? For real? For real? On God? <laughs> yeah. No cap? What? This cave sucks. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's a cap, but it is like 2,147,483,647? Thank you. See, Pippi, I knew I could come to you for accurate information. So you're saying there's a chance we might hit that cap? <laughs> um, what cap is that, though? Huh? Hello? What? What were you saying, Snuckai? Oh, I was wondering what kind of, um, bites is that, like... Because, you know, like, the max is, like, 64 for, like, 64 bites. Oh, how, like, sometimes caps are determined by, like, um... Yeah. Like... I kind of see what you're getting at. Either a side, you know, like, uh, determine how many bites is that, like, basically how many, uh, bites is in I can eat a double cheeseburger in two bites. to kill us? Sixty-nine? I lost a Pikmin! Does that count as them being killed, or does that count as a sunset kill, I wonder? I don't like that the top of the saving thing is like a like tinted red. What if there were Pikmin that could carry multiple sets of items? Like, um, That'd be cool. like, like purple can carry 10 things instead of just like holding. That'd be what? Cool, actually. You're a bitch and a half, you know that?
Groinked. I'm a not a goblin. I'm a groink, and you've been groinked. Uh, can you turn red? There we go. Alright, 15 more purples. We made money. Only two more! Only two more runs. Two more runs. Skip, 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 skip. I was just thinking, they have different vocal pitches when they're throwing that's different from what they actually sound like. It's very high pitched. Okay. 
just two more. It's just two more. It's no big, no big. And then all we have left is the three caves and the last island. <laughs> and then, oh, I guess, uh, I guess there's Louie. Forgot about that guy. Nice try. The most difficult parts draw near. No way, no way. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. So ready. I'm like, so ready. I'm like, I'm, I'm so good, actually. There better not be any more puzzles. No. What the hell? It's right there. I can see the exit. Wait, what? No. If only I could jump. Pikmin and Lethal Company do have a lot of similarities. The procedural generation of maps, collecting scrap for the company, Having to return to the company. Would you ever want to play the the thick pin uh, lethal company mod? I mean, sure, why not? Wouldn't it be kind of busted? They seem like they're probably pretty strong. But I don't, I don't mind. How the heck does that work? It's, it's, uh, I, well, I don't know much about, like, coding, but, um, you basically have, I mean, it's, it's Pikmin. It's, it's actually just Pikmin mechanics. You have, uh, I know I saw blues and reds, but you just, like, throw them and they'll retrieve scrap for you. <laughs> they are still very fragile. Didn't they make it so that you can finally kill the stupid uh, mannequin? I forget what they're called. <laughs> I'm sure they're not all that easy to find, because you probably can't find them outside. You gotta probably find them, or rather, you probably can't find them inside. <gasps> Maybe you can find purple Pikmin inside. It's funny because everything in Lethal Company has a weight to it, so I can totally see... <laughs> you know, if you really think about it, it's not like they're that good, because Pikmin are still slow and they could probably just die to uh, <laughs> random, you know, things. Fuck you. Found the exit. You need to buy whistles? Ah, oh, that makes sense.
Fatty? Hey, that was for everybody. Scared of these guys? They are, they are. So you just gotta, like, uh, how do I say this? Whip them back into shape. I would never be scared of them. I believe you. Every time I hear whistles, I instantly think the blood whistle in Super Smash Brothers 3. Is that Super Smash Brothers 3? Wait, no. SMD. Super, S uh, Super Mario Brothers 3. Mario and you mean blood whistle? The blood you mean, like, the, the wind whistle, right? Do, 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 do. Exactly. That yeah. That's a blood whistle? I don't know if it's a blood whistle. I never heard it called that. <laughs> we only need six more. And then we'll have all those purples for the next challenges. Yoink! You wish. You didn't even <laughs> see me. You didn't notice me. You're just too sly. You're just too, too good.
Wow, we get 15 this time. Nice. Maybe we'll get lucky and get fucking four purple flowers. We made it! Ba -da 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 I can't. I can't wait to play Pikmin again. Pikmin? Pikmin. <laughs> Where it's a Pyrenean complex sublevel seven. Is this not the flower peel? Uh, oh. I don't see the exit there, nor there. Oh my god, he's coming right for us, isn't he? Fuck you. No. I refuse to lose Pikmin. I need them. I need them alive so that I can turn them into purple Pikmin. I gotta pee. Go pee. Mm, I will get these purple Pikmin first. I guess I can pee right now, though. I'll pee right now. Yeah. Pee like, right back. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. Oh, yeah, I should pause it.
Wait, dude, come on. Okay, I was about to fucking say. I didn't see any purples. They're like zero, but they're there. They only ever drop the purple gloop and not the red gloop. The purple is a little bit stronger, isn't it? Well, I think it is. Because yeah, um, I think so. being able to power up your Pikmin doesn't mean much if you can just solidify the monster and kill them before they get out, right? Yeah. So I like to think that the, the purple one is actually better anyway. I like having like stronger and faster units than like the permanent stun <laughs> guaranteed kill. But yeah, I know that sounds weird, but no, there's nothing really wrong. Like I mean, it, being able to control them and have them be quick and like dexterous is really nice. Yeah. It doesn't stop them from getting stunned though. So like, True. like when I fought Empress Bullblacks and I used uh like the red juice, they all just got squished anyway. I was like, damn. Another problem is that there is a limited range around your character when you use the red juice, right? So you, sometimes you don't get all of them hyped up, but if you were to use uh, the purple juice on a mob that's near you, I mean, you know, you're guaranteed to... You need to have them in your group. Yeah, but they, they also have to be, like, somewhat close to you, right? One, two, three, four. Except it's one, two, four, three. All right, go to sunset. the same male.
forgot about the fucking onion. I'm trying to make sure it's safe because if I fucking lose a hundred purple Pikmin, I'm gonna lose it. And by it, I mean the purple Pikmin. Goodness. This is a chufty ass squad. You guys got this. That shit's fucking heavy. That is so silly. Son. His eyes look like headlights. <laughs> they kind of do.
8,000! Here we go. We have like six more treasures to get, so I'm thinking maybe three more rooms. Maybe two more rooms. Nah, three. Hello, welcome back to Discord. Hello. Oh, these fucking guys.
Oh, this is a rest cave, isn't it? It is. Hmm. We didn't need blues, did we? For which one? This cave. Shouldn't it? It would. It'll. Wouldn't it tell us? Yeah, it would tell you. It would tell you. There's like no possible way that. Yeah, yeah. Then, then we did need blues. I think we needed some of like everything. Oh. Um. This must have been where I pieced out. All right. Well, let's see what else this place has got for us. There's the treasure. I don't necessarily need blues for that either. So we should be good.
da 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 name Princess Pearl. I will use momentum, and this will definitely work. Are, you guys make me sick. I can't direct them to get the mushroom. You see that? You see the red? I'm trying to direct them to get the mushroom, and I can't because of the slant and because of the angle. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, they got it. I actually had it on blues. That was, like, wonderful RNG on this area. We didn't have to deal with, like, anything. It was, like, literally one toad and one, uh, one toad and one shock bug. There's only four more treasures here. What the? Oh. <laughs> this will come in handy for when I lose literally all of my nectar. That's kind of fucking evil.
I'm gonna fucking kick your ass, dude. Can he hit us through there? I hope not. Ba -da 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 -da. Cookie! I knew it! Impenetrable cookie. How is it impenetrable? I can penetrate it. Battery! That must be the exit then, huh? Okay. Now here's a tangy one. Fuel reservoir. Please eat! Oh, this is all of the, uh... Is that where it is? Yeah, that's where the exit is. 
We can go that way. But we could just go this way. I'm scared he can hit me through there. Another Nintendo character? Oh, they're getting sued for sure. No! Okay, one red Pikmin, that's okay. We lost all of our fucking... Okay, I have an idea, I have an idea. Because we still have Nectar left. Nintendo, this is Nintendo. I believe it. A full course meal! <laughs> it's okay, Purple Pikmin. Wow, they're fast. felt scared at all all this time just going too this is going too smooth too smooth yeah too smooth These guys pose no threat. What the fuck did that guy get there? I have a few words for this guy. Starters. What? Wait, that hardly even hurt the dwarf full dwarves. I'm trying to get this guy over here, maybe. So many enemies.
you guys cut it out with the- oh, well, I guess that's my fault. Oh, what? Get over here, dude. This is so obnoxious because I want to kill him, but there's dwarf, dwarf bulwarbs in the way. Oh, fuck you, dude. Alright, well. We'll just. Bless you! Sorry, we'll just clean up shop here. Goodness. <laughs> he got chewed on, but he's alive. Lost four. That's okay. What is your problem? Fighting him here is just a, just annoying as hell. It's like the genie fight in uh, Baldur's Gate.
Take his ass to jail. Are you telling me this thing will, like, revive? If we don't take it yeah. home? That's insane. That's annoying. These are one of the worst enemies in the game. As the fucking cannon fish doesn't show up, we're good to kill these bold men or whatever. I get the feeling the game is gonna make me kill all of them. Actually, just too far. I could probably swarm them and kill them all, though. If that actually hit my Pikmin, I would have been so mad. Like, over the wall. and it killed him, so I probably have to, like, distance myself from that thing. Let's take a purple. Oh, 
What the hell? Are you okay, bro? That fucking, that was a super pick then. What is it? Should have done that a long time ago. Wait! The corpse! Oh, it's gone. Huh. I remember playing this game as a young feller. Only pick the playing game I play. Apple juice. You'd think that'd be worth more. I mean, it's like a big giant fruit guard. That's all the treasure? I could have sworn there would have been like more treasure if you like kill all the bold men. Dropped all my purples. Getting jump by picking must suck. If they weren't, if they had better vision. They have to evolve to have better vision. Just a skill issue, TBH.
I made like 40 whole dollars off this floor. If you really think about it, um, for the robot to say that the beasts aren't worth much is kind of not true. Because if a year's salary for us is 100 gold, we're getting like 50 from all of these dwarf bold men. So clearly they're worth something. Like, what is that, two dollars? Six? Six dollars? We're, we're getting money, we're getting money. All right, we cleared out the entire dwarf. This is this is the second to last floor, surely. Two dollars per dwarf boatman. There was only one treasure on that floor. <laughs> Final. Back at. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, it's not the final level. That's a baby sucker. <laughs> you having fun with the, the thingy? I do, I do. I get a little bit too uh, invested. That's okay, I, I'm like that with games all the time too. <laughs> Small game. Oh fuck. They're just in the water. A turtle sculpture. Like the word nipple? The switch is weird like that sometimes. They are kind of weird like that sometimes. We got the wiggle noggin. That's everything. Wow! Easy. Easy. Very lucky. Oh, yeah. I do enjoy that there is actually an, um, Round will be proceeded generator on a video game that I always wanted to play. Kind of feels like a roguelike. It, yeah, it kind of is kind of a roguelike. Roguelite. Roguelite. You're right, you're right. <laughs> I think you can say nipple on Twitch. You just can't show one. It's too scary. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't, don't crash on me, game. Hello? 
Oh, thank goodness. My Nintendo GameCube was having a little bit of trouble loading in, I guess, all of the assets. Uh... Yeah. Could be like a little scratch on your CD. What the hell? Emperor? Oh, it's uh... His right arm is weak. Wait, what the fuck? Oh my go! Oh my goodness! Okay, so he rolls and then he's weak. Simple enough. Whoa. He rolls. He crashes. And then he's weak. But you gotta watch out for the fucking rocks. Okay. The fact that it, you know, changes colors like that, it doesn't look so bad. But the pulsing is worse. Everybody! Let's get the fuck up in there! I lost that one was, Pikmin. That was insane. What the hell? I lost one red to a random rock. <laughs> Let's get our juices back. This is why I love like being over prepared in video games. I, I know that sounds like dismissal. But no, no, what I'm saying is like. Yeah, no, I, are, I didn't like, take it that way. You're good. Yeah. It's just like, oh my god, you you got this in the bag. Ew, what is that? Ew! I don't like it! Baby. I really don't like that. Oh my god, it blinks. Ew. Don't worry, yet, Smoogie. Um, those kind of dolls have um automatically blink in real life. Wait, they do? Yes. If you um hold up the doll. Fuck up. And basically kind of shake it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, they automatically blink. Silence. Silence? Come on. Man. Because the baby's crying and you give him the doll. Oh, that, you're smart. <laughs> they should make it so L gives the mic to somebody because everybody's talking. Oh, I'm definitely just stop talking and stop playing the game because everybody's talking. And obviously the loudest person, they're playing this like Among Us, and the loudest person wins or gets the their their majority vote. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. 
not too much at all. <laughs> Holy shit, Fi, you love Pitman. Not even I would ever ever go that far of uh, loving a video game. It's slightly lower number in Japanese version. It yeah. says, um, I. Get his ass, get his ass. I will slurp up that meat. Love self shellfish. Uh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Are you um, in this location? Whistle Woods, right? Yeah. Huh. A lot of bamboo. Interesting. Whistle wild. Wilds. I am detecting the howls of countless creatures in the hole ahead. It is nearly deafening. Mr. President, be extremely careful. Olimar, your job is to protect his life at all costs. <laughs> hey! No, don't drink that! What? Mr. President, get drinking, idiot! Mr. President, drink. What do you just do? I gotta look that back. Take care, fire, please. Those bye little bye, bugs. Time. There were little bugs there. It's game over for these guys. If I if I if I make one more kissy slurpy noise, I have to put in a, a I have to put in a fucking label on my stream. <laughs> Olimar, please stop kissing the. Yeah, you can't do you can't do that on on Twitch anymore. Hell oh, yeah, you... I got two more. Wait, why they're ju they're juicing you up a lot? Yeah, you know that's kind of ominous, isn't it? Yes. Like, why they be juicing me up for? I get the feeling this is the last area. And that the other hole is like the second to last area. Hole of Heroes. So if we were to do this in order, we'd want to save that for last, right? The Hole of Heroes? Mm-mm. Hmm. What's the other one called? I don't know. I haven't been there yet. Got it. But I would, I would assume this is probably where Louis is. I believe it. Because, it, like, why else would they give you, like, a bajillion fucking drinks? I can go to Sunset from here, right? Oh, it's not the last star right? that... We love doing last things last. What? Are you sure? That's a lot of uh, requirements. Well, come to think of it, there's probably a whole other island. You know what I mean? Like a boss island, just like the last game? Yes, yes, yes. 
Can we get a yet? It's a moogie fan service kissy noise. It's like I'm calling my dog over. <laughs> Hole of heroes. This shit oh, look like this shit look like bread bug. This shit look like bread bug. I see an enemy already. I know. It, literally enemies everywhere, come to think of it. Oh my goodness. Everything here is an enemy. That's what an the fuck you're right! Excuse my language. Except this area. This area is clear of enemies. What are you? Oh, okay. I like it when games are like not as dark. Or like, you know, how do I say this? The well, remember I got the I got the place I got the thing that lights up the <laughs> Oh, I didn't know that was a. Oh, that, okay, that's funny. Remember, I was complaining like, eh, it's not that dark anyway. You can't yeah, reach me from there, can you? <gasps> what? He punched its face. <laughs> that's what it looks like. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Pitman? <laughs> Corpulent nut. That's it? Easy. See a loser. <laughs> I remember uh, a couple years back when I was watching Jerma play, he had the most unfortunate um, cutscene uh, interruption. I'll show it to you once you finish playing the game. And Pi gave you some nice facts. Yeah, Uchidani. Oh, I encountered them on the exact day where they would have spawned? That's interesting. I can't tell where the treasure is because that stupid bug. Find it for uh, to be real quick. What happened to Jerma? What happened to Jerma? Uh, when he played Pitman 2. Um, basically, he was in the cutscene of finding a troll, and there was a, a rolling rock, uh, homing rock, <laughs> rolling with him, and he couldn't do anything about it. Oh, fuck you! That's evil! That's evil! That's so evil! I think I actually saved them. Holy shit, I got so lucky. That was uncalled for. I saw what happened. Yeah, and they're scared, so I couldn't call them back. That was so evil. I didn't... I don't think I lost... Maybe I lost two. <laughs> that's... I guess that's fairness, but it's like a Mario Maker 2 bit where they just like, Oh yeah, we'll make sure you actually lose Pitman by putting these two enemies together. <laughs> it's actually not cool.
Это... Grab the onion. Onion. I don't remember. Oh, you don't even have to directly land on them. That's crazy. Oh, those little punks. <laughs> it's true, it's true. It's true. It's true. Matter of fact, you make this game look much more uh Might be more treasure here, actually. Essence of true love, the color blue. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Wow, what the hell? This looks like a boss fight of sorts.
What is the point of these rooms? I'm assuming that's where treasure sometimes can be. That's the exit. There's the treasure. You are blue. Ooh, yeah. Where'd you come from? Nice try, nice try, nice try, Jake. Wow, more, more of What kind of gemstone is this? Love Sphere. What the hell? Is it the hole of heroes? Is there really going to be multiple? I 
only see one. Okay, this won't be so bad. It feels like a boss rush. I don't know why, but it just does. Feels like a what? A boss rush. I don't know why, but it just does. Because you faced that enemy before, and it's only level 4. That's my only Yeah, I've reason. never fought it with quicksand, though. I think that's the, the, the tricky thing here. Either way, we have so many juices, I think we'll be fine. Uh... This guy's kind of a problem if I, if I fight him on the quicksand area. Maybe, yeah, maybe. There's still music. There's another one. Treasure here, though. I guess the only oh. like obstacle was that quicksand. That's why the music plays. That's just the case. Yeah, I guess you're right. Huh. There's no other treasures here, so. All right, not bad. We only lost like three or four Pikmin. Well, he is trickier with the quicksand. He's still just the same. Uh, actually, you know what? I do think he was tankier because even when he wasn't rocked, he was still taking a lot of damage. Which tells me there's probably an Emperor Bullblacks that does have the the triple jump and the high HP pool. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Mamosa. Oh, 
Oh, it's a rest floor. I see, I see. Whoa, a golden beetle! Oh, I missed it. But I guess it's not so bad since you got the whistle to make him uproot. Yeah. Beetle, beetle, beetle. This game is a lot longer than Pitman 1. If only had this game first. 100%. Oh oh my what was that you said? Oh, I I said if only this game... If, this game is longer than the first. If only I had this game first. If Since, only you had this game first? If, if only I played this game first. Well, that doesn't uh -huh. make sense. My brain is rotten. What I'm trying to say is if only I played this game instead of 1 so I could experience... Oh, it. I mean, I think both games are... I mean, I love I love Pitman One. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that if I have to choose one, that's that's what I'm trying to say. Gotcha, do. gotcha. Oh hey, nothing stopping you from playing this one. Yeah, you're right. You're you right. Give it some time, but like again, it's procedurally generated, so. I also like distract myself in a, a, a lot of stuff, so I won't be too spoiled too. People will join me doing a semi blind run. It's a shame that blues are not as strong in. They're not strong in general. Yeah, true. But if they were. They have to have a downside, otherwise, you would just use blues and forget reds. Because mm -hmm. the not being. Not drowning is actually really clutch in some situations. Mm hmm. If anything, I think yellows are kind of weak, especially in this game. I think you can play the entire game without even using yellows. Yeah, like, all they do is, like, you know, be immune to Electrify, which, yeah, sure, they um, get, uh, but, but don't get one shot. Throwing but... them higher, I have not found a use for yet. I'm sure maybe for some enemies, but it feels mo more like um, they just kind of get in the way because it's like you're not used to throwing that high, so then you're, like, overthrowing some of the time uh. with the yellows. Very cool. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm glad oh, I got some extra blues. fucking blues. Holy shit. What the fuck is th I really needed more blues for this part. Wait, this actually sucks. How am I gonna get Skip. through this? <laughs> Unique soundtrack. This is uh, very awkward. Uh, there's some blues. I can get some blues over there. I don't want to lose any reds. I might have to... I don't want to lose any blues, I should say. This is going to be tricky. I think I know what I need to do. Wow. 
We're getting some giant treasures here. That's crazy. I'm so glad I picked up some blues before I, like, went to the next floor. Yeah. Skippy! Nutrient silo. Huh? Who's fighting? What the? Oh, it was just a tadpole. That was all the treasure. Now here's the question. Do we get more blues? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I can get rid of the water. Or is that to progress? No, that's to progress. Yeah. Definitely have to break that. Um, I don't know if I need more blues. Now nah, let's just get out of here. This wally wop could prove troublesome. If I end up fucking up and I needed more blue Pikmin, I'll just know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, see, like, if I had brought equal blue Pikmin to red, that would have been, like, free. But, but, I also didn't need that many. In fact, I used red Pikmin there. Oh. What the fuck? Okay. Absolutely fucked. They lost their buff. That was uncalled for. supposed to be like solace from the boss. What? Well, 
the time. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's do... Yeah, just a few reds, I guess. Dude, do the thing. I'm, there we Plus three, not bad. Nice ring. If I had a way to order Pikmin to a location without throwing them, that boss would be easy peasy because it's like you 10 over there and then i'll be here with one pikmin i dodge it and then run over there or even if i could um have uh the mayor behind it with some pick well I'd, he'd have to be kind of far and have to swap that but that's actually i think that might actually work like if i'm here and the mayor is there where that is and i'm holding the pikmin and if it's following me as soon as it does that and I kite, I can just swap over and throw, and then swap over again. That might be the intended way to fight it. Instead of, like, being fast enough to throw it onto his butt. <laughs> but, my best run was my first run with, like, fucking two single red Pikmin. <laughs> you should probably read the log. Yeah. That's okay. I did it my way. <laughs> That's right. Oh look, a rest floor. Uh, but I already have all the Pikmin I need. Wow. I'm too good. Yeah. 
What do I even do here? I already have all the Pikmin. I, sh I should have lost some more Pikmin. Because I would have been able to, um... That they just eat fast, brother. Oh, yeah, yeah. Red Bikmin. No purple flowers, I'm noticing. That's, see, that's another upgrade. I need, I need the, the drink faster upgrade. The sloop slurp upgrade. Before we go. So far, honestly, great run so far. Honestly, too easy. For yet, Twiggy. I mean, we got two bosses, and we're at full. We're at full Pikmin. Classic thumbnail floor. Uh. I love this one lone Pikmin over here, or uh, Boldman over here. And then out comes the, the flying bombs. Nah, I think it's just, it's just all the Boldman. Why is he awake? Go back to sleep. Idiot. Oh, the patrol's over there. That guy's nasty. So, they just patrol, right? They don't home towards you? Th that is correct. They patrol, and yeah, yeah, yeah. theory those molten ones um seem to like automatically stay awake as soon as somebody dies Can you play or automatic stay awake automatic wake up Okay, so this kind of sucks because he's stuck and I need him to not be stuck.
the worst one out of the way. The fire one shouldn't be so bad. That one doesn't have a special property, right? Which one? The the orange and black one. He's just edgy. If he um he he wakes up real early, he's always on edge. Gotcha. That is kind of challenging or scary. He's definitely the the uh, prize. He's the he's the treasure. He's got it in. Oh my god, yeah, that's a good demonstration. You guys are fucking dumbasses. They would go- they would go straight to the fi- Like, of all the paths to take, they would go straight to the fucking fire, uh... <laughs> Nice if there's like a little um, glowy dust indicator of where they're pathing to right after they pick it up. That would be nice, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... Mm -hmm. Okay. This guy's life is suffering. Just always burning. Yeah. Nice! 
Ooh, what is that? Looks like a box cutter. Oh yeah. There's an enemy there. Oh, you got it. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I got too invested into the game. <laughs> Dimensional slicer. Didn't you start this floor with like grass or I'm tripping? Gra yes, yes. The first uh, floor was like outside in grass. Huh. That's a bull wax. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Now, what I wanna know is why are there. Destructible targets here for the white kid. Maybe just weird layout shenanigans. It's a boss room though, it's kinda weird. He's literally blocking my path. Dude, what? That oh, would have been cool. such a bitch and a half. Yeah. That would have been so mean. Like, they get scared into the fucking Emperor's fucking mouth. Yeah. Any other surprises for me? No. Yeah. Oh, what a fucking surprise. What? There's two of them. Oh. Alright, this, this calls for some juice, that's for sure. So these are not emperors, but these are like tiny emperors, right? You could say that, yeah. I like your strat.
One, two, three. What? That's okay, it's okay. Nice. Maybe that maybe that's all we need too. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Nintendo block? Oh, I recognize that. I don't know what the fuck that is. It's uh it's a little gyro block for Rob, the toy. Dude, they're gonna get sued. Fuck no. That's everything. We're good. Easy. I think I have the Bull Blacks fight down. Like, he, he, like, you can't throw it at him willy nilly because he will just eat them when his tongue is out, and it's almost like a, it's like a counter, right? If his tongue's out, anything thrown at him just gets eaten. So you have to wait that out and then throw it up at his, like, face. But if you don't have the throw range, then, like, you miss and he just eats them. So it's. It's. What the? Oh, come on! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. She's immune! She's immune to the fucking... The burp? She's immune to the burp. She's immune to the burp, yeah. Oh! Fuck, I did not... down in the middle soon. After that rock. She's gonna shake them off. We have to save them now. Okay, it's a 50-50 if she rolls and kills them there. Oh, fuck. She dies here for sure, though. She didn't really give me too much time to uh, prepare. Annoying. But that's okay. I think we lost... We didn't lose too much. I mean, 60. That's fine. This is probably the... Wait, is this not the last floor? No. Fuck. <laughs> that's a problem. Favorite gyro block. Blue's my favorite too. Okay, let's take a Pikmin count. One blue, three yellow, one white. Got it. Is that all the treasure? That is all the treasure, okay. Hey, 20, 20, 26 red Pikmin is plenty, if you think about it that way. And it's not like we have zero of one of them, right? We have at least one of each, so I'll anything is possible. Okay, you're good. 
This should be a restaurant, right? It is. That doesn't mean we can let her guard down, though. Dude! Well, I lost one. Because he ran out. I don't even care about that guy. One blue, one yellow. That's a problem. I What I need is more blues. Because if I encounter something aquatic, that I need to... What the hell? If I acquire, if I encounter something, ah, fuck, those aren't blues. The, the worst part is you put one blue. Into I know, I know, I don't have any fucking blues anymore. I could just leave. It's always an option. But it's better to just explore and get more information. Got it. <laughs> That's okay. I just realized something. That was a golden beetle. Yeah. Right. So if you miss your opportunity, you missed your treasure. I think I think if it has treasure, it probably doesn't despawn. But uh, that's just a hunch. I don't know for sure. Because there was a golden beetle a while back, and uh, I missed it. But it also didn't drop treasure. Like, uh, cause like th there wasn't any ping in the in the in the thing after the beetle went away. All these gyro blocks. They were they ran out of fucking product placement, so they're just like, alright, fuck it, let's just put Nintendo buttons in here. Let's put it in my face, it says Shigeru Miyamoto. And they did. Come on. Not quite. We're not make uh, we're making it out we're not making it out of here. Wait a minute. The you need a blue. The last time I fought this thing. We're li oh, it's liter fuck. it's literally over. You need water? Oh no. I'm just leaving. I can't fight this thing. Level 13. That's valid. Seriously? I mean, let's be honest. It's not like I was gonna kill it with my one blue, eh, eh, or, or even or even ten blues. I was not gonna kill that guy with ten blues. This feels exactly like every single Kaizo I've ever this seen. This is a Mario Maker level. Yeah. What the fuck is? I'm sorry, my leg. What is this? You know, though, this would be easy as hell with blues. So that's just the play. Is you just bring a bunch of blues. Uh, just uh, bring in three Bowsers while you're at it. Where's the treasure? It's here? Ah! <laughs> very funny. Very oh fucking, very funny. God. Very fucking funny. Very fucking funny. Very <laughs> funny. Where's the treasure? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> yeah, okay. You're so cool. BD long legs. You're so fucking cool. Should I even- should I fight him? Maybe I could probably kill him, actually. Well... So 13 is that fucking guy. You got yellows. BD, yeah, BD Longlegs dies pretty quick, but um... Yeah, I guess we might as well- I think handling the ads is play. Yeah. Well, you gotta get rid of the ads before you fight him. But oh fuck, and there's fucking water. 
okay, yeah, no, this is just, this is just, you bring blues. Like, oh, like, am I really right. gonna fight this guy when there's puddles there? Actually, okay, wait, I could go to the corner. This corner over here. If we clear out this corner, you can fight him here. So we'll, we'll try it, we'll try it. Might as well, might as well. We have Pikmin, we might as well try it. That was a cool joke. I, I was I was um, joking about drop three Bowser's on you. Did they just box drop this? Nerd ass bugs. They're so pathetic. They are. Yeah. See, look, if I found him right there, yeah, no, this is it's free. It's free. I can't. Okay, I'm a little bit blown away that um, Empress Boblax is immune to your purple. Uh, your purple spray. Oh yeah, I mean it make. It, to be honest, I'm kind of okay with it because like that, it would just you would just use it like that. She's the most dangerous fight, but she's about being patient, not being greedy. Like Got you want to get a few hits on her, right? Call them before she spins her face around. Because, like, after she spins her face around, the roll is a 50-50 shot of just killing your Pikmin instantly, which we saw. So, like, really, that's all you do. Also, now that we've already killed her, we don't have to kill her again, meaning we can run to the door. The only hard part is going to be those little larva. Uh, right yeah, but like I said, if we just run to the door, she'll just roll over them, so it doesn't matter. Got it. She'll be inactive, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Are you gonna come over here? There we go. Soon. <laughs> they go through the water to deliver it. <laughs> it's like I need blue pigment to deliver it because they go through the fucking pool. How fucking cool would that be? <laughs> Fond gyro block. How many gyro blocks does fucking Rob have? I think five. <laughs> there is a single live weevil. He gets to live and turn into a daddy long leg or beady long legs. <laughs> that makes sense because it's like yellow and stuff. The lore. Is this not a restroom? What? Really? I mean, if all I gotta do is fight Mr. Water Pikmin, that's gonna be pretty easy. What do we have here? Okay. Uh, what do we have to fight? Just jellyfish? Might as well fight it, right? I'm, I'm even okay with wiping. Like, what do we have to lose? This is the last floor. We have to come back with blues. Mm -hmm. They're in different families? Oh. All right, let's see. I hear screaming. Oh my god, this is going to be Mr. Water with jellyfish at it, isn't it? Oh, water wraith? Ow! What the hell is that? That is scarier. He's so slow, though. I...
I mean, he doesn't seem all that bad from from afar. <laughs> My only fear is the the big stumpy legs. Showtime. Uh, he's not taking damage. I think he has higher regeneration than oh, uh, right. than that in its attack power. Shake it at all, huh? What? What just happened? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I see his gimmick. Oh my god, he gets faster. Interesting, okay. Oh, that's an appropriate name. Uh, Pi. Raging. <laughs> they don't seem to be damaging him very much, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's the petrifying thing, huh? You might be right. Uh oh. It's okay, it's okay. Before he can do that again. All things considered, that was not too bad at all, because, um, we just gotta beat the fucking man-at-arms, which, yeah, we gotta do it with blues, sure, but, like, that won't be so bad. And we already know we cleared the rest of, like, everything on here, so. Raging Long Lake is kinda cool, not gonna lie. It's, like, super slow with gigantic attack powers, but just, yeah. Remember the old buddy. Well, you know, I think this is actually a decent time because I know Pippi's probably gotta gotta go to bed soon, right? Oh, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six a.m. We can definitely finish. Basically, all we have left is what one more cave, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, one more cave, and then killing this guy. What do you think, Pippi? How are you feeling? That onion? Onion? Oh! <laughs> the onion from, um, from the other... <laughs> mm. We're almost there. But yeah, we could call it Pippi. Oh, wow. That's a lot of money. Man, Empress is rough.
wait. What? Oh, I was gonna say, why does Cavern of Chaos have the flag? And I was like, oh right, because it's not the whole of Heroes. I don't know how to deal with man at arms, or excuse me, man at legs. Basically, do you recognize this area? Uh, let me think. Yes, this is the area <gasps> you do. fought Emperor Bullblacks in because you're going this way. This is where yes. all the big giant fire things were, and then you go this way, and then this is where the box was, and yep. then over here is where I lost my yellow Pikmin like a million times, but it's like remixed. I think. I think your spawn point is where Emperor Ball Blacks you, you Yes, it is actually, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I like this game a lot. It's your favorite. And six. Wait, did we seriously do both of those caves? Did we do two caves so. at once? That's crazy. Sent absolutely no replies. It's the same mail. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's she's just resetting him the same the same message over and over again. Re, would you like to send this mail again? 
<laughs> She's thinking maybe if she sends it enough, he'll respond. All right. We can pick up the onion. What? The onion returned to the original spot. Oh, come on. That's dirty. It should have grown into a second onion. He died to an already dead frog, that's wild. Touch 
here. I just wanted my onion!
Hey, Fecko. You're here early. What were you streaming? Were you playing some Ragnarok? My Dolce Raid. Oh shit, you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh. What's Madolce's game plan against Tempai anyway? What the hell is this? I got a royal old art red VTuber girl. That's a Kisei Kale. Leela is the blue one, right? I played against Tenpai, or... I had like six monsters and they couldn't get through all of them. Ah, nice. Yeah, we were talking Yu-Gi-Oh earlier. Somebody mentioned, um... What I think of the new decks. Or, I don't remember what the combo was, but I was like, you know, Tenpai is not that bad. It's the hand traps being so strong is what's bad. But really, I feel like any going second deck, you know, runs those same cards anyway. I I agree, Fecko. Like, I'm gonna I'm gonna this is a hot take. If you replace like a bunch of Tenpai cards with Lunalite cards and some spells, you could probably OTK just as easily. Like, one Forbidden Droplet on everything, with, like, a po Super Poly, not a Super Poly, um, Luna Light Fusion, and you OTK them anyway. It's almost sundown. Hurry up. All this for one onion. By the way, Snack Eye. Snack All I can do is send you bug food. Who's eating the bug food? Because it's not like Louie's getting it. So who's who's getting the bug food? Something tells me you might be close to the end of the game. Well, I mean, we only have one cave to go. So yeah. I only see that because she's spamming you now. Oh, well, I, maybe they only expected you to be there for 30 days. Hmm... Yeah, I don't know, actually. Hmm. We don't have any new completed sets? Interesting. I could have sworn we would have had some new sets. Did we have a re- Oh, we don't have the full set for this one either. We have the full battery set, though. Why didn't I get a message about it? This object resembles the first treasure I found on this planet, so it holds a certain sentimental value to me. However, I've noticed that the size is slightly different. Sometime, I should take the time to read my previous treasure logbook. It's good to reflect my past sometimes. Yeah. Some enigmatic energy unknown of on hot cake is trapped inside. Who couldn't use more energy? This cryptic item exhibits unbelievable quantity of stored dormant energy. The civilization that created this must have advanced tremendously when they discovered this powerful new energy source. If I were to take this technology back home, how would it affect the future of Hotcake? Huh. 
Humanoid history is one big scramble for energy, and this is the a colossal fountain of it. Has the change to renewable energy on hot cake already begun? We machines watch. Each section of the game has set emails that can send. It'll repeat until the last uh, repeat the last one until you complete that section. Oh. We've recovered our first treasure. Amazingly, the Pikmin remembered how to salvage it. I can't understand their adorable language, and I don't know what they're thinking, yet I'm so happy to see them. When I crashed on this planet, the Pikmin helped me locate my missing ship parts. In my darkest hour, the Pikmin were there for me. Now that I'm reunited with them, I know everything will be alright. Physical energy is not the only kind. The energy dearest to us is made is that made by love and courage. Huh. The ship has a lot of self-importance for a machine. Apparently, machines can exhibit human characteristics after all. Perhaps they even have a soul? If this is true, then maybe you can work them into the ground until their spirit is broken and they stop giving you lip. Oh no, I'm turning Wait, into the president. <laughs> <laughs> According to my measurements, almost no energy should remain within, yet some does. The energy one can draw from matter has a limit, but the energy of the heart is endless. Perhaps that is the case here. This proves that machines have will and determination. <laughs> okay. He's saying uh, there shouldn't be any energy left, but there is, which means this battery has a soul. It's, it's drawing energy from within. We have all the marbles. And all the treasures. Wait, why didn't I get an update about that? Dimensional Slicer. Oh, we got a lot of new logs. The vivid color of this red stone reminds me of my wife's eyes when they burn with rage. Just between you and me, I've noticed lately that she's been getting more wrinkles. Now that I think about it, I've probably caused her a lot of stress. When I return to Hot Cake, I'll take her on a long vacation. This crimson stone is said to reflect the contents of the soul and detect strong emotions. Whether it indicates passion or righteous ire depends on the love you give your wife each day. <laughs> I've lived for decades. So he's like, what, at least, at least 20, probably 30s. Uh, and yet there are still mysteries that are beyond my comprehension. For example, why are some women so crazy about things that sparkle? That's one enigma I'll probably never unravel. A stone with a subtle twinkle that grants harmony, stability, and tranquility to the beholder. The other day, my daughter begged me to get her some jewelry. She's becoming so fashion conscious. I know girls grow up quickly, but I never imagined it would happen this fast. This scintillating jewel will make girlfriends feel like queens of the galaxy, and boyfriends feel like kings of debt. Fit for the ruler of the universe, it is the ultimate giant diamond. When I look at sapphires, I remember a long time ago when I would buy my wife jewelry. I'd buy her jewels every time she cried, which turned out to be all the time. It was tough with my meager salary. <laughs> That's not a good relationship. Like a forlorn heart during a rainy season, this sapphire is lovely, but tinged with sadness. Salvaging this treasure was a dangerous and difficult task. I found it deep in the bowels of a dank, predator-infested cavern. My only hope of surviving was to strategically use all five colors of Pikmin. This stone is for all fathers who want their daughters to grow up to be elegant rather than flashy. There is nothing cheap about the sparkle of this stone. It is the gift you have been looking for. Oh. Lately, it seems that my daughter has been admiring my wife's ring. For now, she's satisfied with her cheap toy ring, but when she gets bigger... I love watching her grow up, but it also makes me fearful for my wallet. An emerald in the shape of a four-leaf plant. Its vivid green hue soothes the soul and calls forth joy. Order yours today. It's pretty. I haven't finished this one yet. What about the marbles? According to my analysis, this object has a high intellectual capacity. But if it's so smart, why won't it pass some of its wisdom to me? 
This creature holds the greatest concentration of knowledge in all of the known universe. However, due to its reclusive personality, it pretends to be a mere pebble. I speculate that this crystal is in fact highly intelligent. It must possess telepathic powers. When I peer into it, the reflection of my face is bright red. It must be sensing my stress. Tomorrow, I think I'll sleep through the whole day. This thought crystal checks your stress levels with its telepathic powers. It is currently all red. Red, red, red. The world is filled with stress, and this is the color that represents our society. One of the wisest beings in the universe, this entity also boasts a galactic-sized helping of love. However, due to its shyness, it will never speak of that love. According to the ship scanners, this inanimate object has the capacity to love. Unfortunately, my love is already spoken for. Although... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He's getting rizzed up by the, by the fucking love sphere. <laughs> The Pikmin are always staring at me. It's nice to see that they look up to me, but it's becoming unnerving. Sometimes I want to hide away in the ship just to escape their beady eyes. This crystal is empowered with psychokinetic abilities. If it is so inclined, it will use its mighty powers to do physical labor in your steed. When it will be so inclined is unknown, however. Oh, this one looks cool. Another one. Oh, wait. My investigation has concluded that this object embodies the spirit of comedy. But when it comes to humor, not even this item can stand up to my unrivaled powers of hilarity. Too bad the president doesn't appreciate my comedic genius. <laughs> Another one of the universe's most intelligent beings, this creature's entire existence, from the birth of the universe to its ultimate collapse, is dedicated to devising a very special joke. <laughs> I wonder if it'll ever tell us the joke. Trying to sort out the five different colors of Pikmin is giving me a headache. I'll be a much better tactician if I take a moment to study each Pikmin's unique abilities. Red Pikmin is immune to fire. What? What? Huh? Why is this on this log? Red Pikmin, immune to fire. Purple Pikmin, strong and heavy. Bruisers that can lift big loads. White Pikmin, fast and immune to the effects of poison. Can also find hidden treasures buried underground. Yellow Pikmin, highly agile and immune to electrical damage. Are they really agile? I didn't know that. Are they faster? I don't think so. Also fly high when thrown. Blue Pikmin, thrive in water. Phew! It should be easy to identify each Pikmin's abilities based on their color. This mystic crystal has the ability to channel energy between this world and the next. This spiritual connectivity will act as a life navigator for positive existence. That is an entire set of like. Whatever what is the th what is the theme here? Because it's like this Games? is for a baby. There are some toys, but then this one's not a toy. It's just a weight. And this is just a card. Wait. No, you're right. I don't know what. I, I can't tell what the Doomsday apparatus is supposed to be. As it, it, you know, theme wise. Okay, so we went over this with Olimar, but that was before we had the full set, which we now have. Holy shit, we completed the fucking cookie. The cookie one, too. My spacesuit's filter seems to be malfunctioning. It can't suppress the sweet, syrupy smell pervading from this cavern. If I don't find a way to neutralize it fast, it's gonna drive me to spoil my diet. Is your palate conservative or adventuresome? Either way, this taste will ravish your mouth. For those who savor flavor, this new delicacy will have you questioning your ideas of taste. As I grow older, I've observed that I'm becoming crankier. Today, I flew off the handle over a trifling matter. I feel like such a fool. I must learn to control my cantankerous temper. I can't allow my bad attitude to erode teamwork on this vital mission. It is hard. Really hard. Too hard. So hard that you're not sure you can eat it, even though you must. This hard snack is infused with the essence of stubbornness, and you are powerless to resist it. Impenetrable cookie? That's funny. 
This treasure's alluring aroma seems to attract unwelcome attention from insects. If the ship hears anything about this, it'll complain endlessly about having to store it. I'd better keep this discovery to myself. I have a bad feeling about this particular item. I want to sell it with all possible speed. Bzz, bargain price available. Please, buy this quickly, now. <laughs> I'm a man with an indomitable will, but I can't stop sampling this luscious food. Such an attractive shape, appetizing color, scrumptious smell. I'm getting hungry already. One look at this pattern and your head spins, your visions fades, and a voice commands, eat this. After a long day of walking, my joints begin to pain me. I need a massage. <laughs> with this, your legs will not fall asleep, even when you sit with your feet tucked beneath you. This sugary material of this cushion infuses your whole body with warmth and comfort. A while back, I didn't sleep for days. My stomach was rolling and my head was cloudy. I couldn't rally any motivation. The only thing I could muster is a sigh. Then I found this mattress. When I reclined on it, I fell asleep immediately and had the sweetest dreams. Sweet to the taste and touch. Sleep on this magical mattress and dream of a land of sweets. That's awesome. Okay, I remember... I read that one. Humanoid desire knows no limits. Some things can never be known or understood. And no researcher, no matter how supreme, will ever tire of consuming this thing. It contains a mystic flavor born of the cosmos itself, and is said to change flavor as it is eaten. If we sold a snack like this on Hotcake, everyone would get addicted to it. I should probably feel bad about making everyone on my planet fat, but as the ship is always saying, business is business. Behold, a magical candy to make the children of Hotcake weep with uncontrollable cravings, pure, undeniable sweetness, unavoidable tooth decay. Who cares? Enjoy the here and now. My ship can't analyze the taste, so I've taken to the burden myself. It's a rough job, but it's up to the captain to step up and volunteer for the most grueling duties. Mmm. Tastes good. I could eat this treat endlessly. I'd better test that hypothesis. Diet doomer. Alas, we machines know nothing of eating. The ultimate pleasure. If only I had a mouth. When I was just a young lad, I looked everywhere for love. I guess that's why I smile when I see young people laughing together. <laughs> this will save our loveless age. Yes, it is a romance-filled addition to the Sweet Tooth series. This sweet aroma will attract members of the opposite gender. No dreams? Take love. No love? Take sweets. This is the most potent item in the Sweet Tooth series. I stumbled across this object in a cave that reeked of a putrid odor. My suit allowed me to breathe freely, but it couldn't filter out the overpowering stench. The worst part is, I smell it all the time now. My sense of taste will never be the same. The ship can't analyze taste, so I guess I'll have to do my best. A Sweet Tooth's dream. Is this real? Or am I dreaming? If I had teeth, I'd be nibbling with nibbling with vigor. I've toiled long and hard to collect all these tasty treats. Surely it won't matter if I bring one back for my daughter as a souvenir. She loves snacks. <laughs> a comfy, not too sugary bed. Youngsters who sleep here will have the sweetest of dreams. The whole research. Try the Simpsons donut. No. Pretty nice. The hole we searched today was filled with a saturine scent. Just sniffing it put me at a risk of developing a cavity. I guess it means sugary. Saturine? I don't think I can eat anything sweet for a while. Wait, who am I kidding? This sugary delight has even a machine like me wishing to partake in its deliciousness. What a sweet looking circlet. Some people in this world can eat anything and never get fat. It makes me so jealous. I eat a cookie crumb and suddenly I'm saddled with a buffer of blubber. To make matters worse, my wife and daughter are always scrutinizing my diet. Can't a man enjoy a pastry wheel in peace? This is perfect for the kitties. A small, well-formed ring of sugar. Go on, gulp it down. And this is the only one we have. Because we read it. We read this one with Olimar. The bubbles. We didn't read the ship's sales pitch. Hmm. Rubsy dubsy sudsy blue. Rubsy su dubsy sudsy woo. Sudsy sudsy scr 
rub the dew. The more you rub it, the more it bubbles and foams. Don't worry about its purpose, just scrub. But then you'll run out of soap. Is this the flame of hope that spawned humanoid civilization? Hotcake needs new energy sources, and this could be a fine candidate. Will machines like me be powered by this someday? Yellow Pikmin are infatuated with high places. They seem to love it when I toss them high in the air. Once, I rolled them up to a high area, and they came down with this treasure. More shocking than a lightning bolt, faster than a light motel, able to crush rocks in one bash. This device can clear any impediment with one fell swoop. Our salvage operations have yielded several unbelievably advanced artifacts. According to my analysis, this cutting device can slice through the fabric of time and space. My days of struggling to open food canisters are over. A dimensional cutter that slices through space and time. This is nothing to be trifled with. Good children will know not to play with this item. The shiny pod was found buried like a time capsule, holding image data of unknown origin. Is it possible that you fathom the data's import? This riddle will entrance all puzzle lovers. Wah. <laughs> Lip service. Oh wait, we read that one, yeah. What is wrong with the delicate dance of beautification, flattery, and flirtation? What, I ask? If it makes life more fun, keep it up. Come on, buy yours today. Come rain, wind, or typhoon, this stage will always support the hidden singer deep in your soul. It is a lovely instant dance stage. Oh, there is more to it. It's makeup! The what? It's makeup! Yeah. How about taking one on tour with you, Star of Rock? It's a, it's like mostly used makeup too. <laughs> yeah. Is this part of a previously unknown giant life form? What might the entire beast look like? Let your imagination run wild and create the largest of all living beings in your head. These are like dentures. <laughs> yeah, they are. Okay, we did read all these before, because we got to these. Brain, well table. What about these? I don't know if I read these. Collecting all these machine parts reminds me of the time I crash landed on this planet. The last time I was here, the scattered the crash scattered 30 of my ship's parts, most crucial components. I had to frantically collect all of them before life support systems failed. I wonder what kind of machine this flywheel is from. Gravitational, electromagnetic, centripetal, dynamic, centrifugal. More powerful than any of the myriad of forces of physics is this. The largest, strongest, fastest, coolest flywheel of all time. It is so powerful as to be immeasurable, so there is no way to confirm its astounding potential. That one had such a long description. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, we read this one on Omar. An item for CEOs throughout the solar system. This arcane shape bewitches the human heart. Give this to an employee to create a no vacation, talking, no bonus needing work machine. Wow. This device was designed based on principles of stabilia, stabilo, stabilotomy? That's not a word. It holds anything firmly in place. With this, galactic typhoons are no longer to be feared. Compared to the standard bonding epoxy, this item is two times, four times, no, even more. This metal fastener is 256 times more powerful. In time, it will fix anything in position. None want to believe it a world so brutal as to require a steel torso guard for the self-defense. It is certainly unattractive, but which do you value more, fashion or personal safety? He's saying it's armor, but it's ugly. Oh. There appears to be a link between the treasures we found and an underground structure. We found several machine parts that fit together. The parts may provide a clue as to the original function of the area. A 
Okay, I think you mentioned... Yeah, I think we read that one already. This item, though rough, is a perfect back brace for fathers. It even has a built-in massager. I have once again discovered a completely undocumented spe species of Pikmin. These white Pikmin can find and dig up items that are buried entirely underground. We never would have found this priceless treasure without them. Thankfully, it's the perfect stuff to patch a hole I just noticed in the ship's hull. P.S. I named the cave where I first encountered the white Pikmin. The White Flower Garden. But they have purple flowers. Yeah. The latest must-have item for all ship emergency repair kits. This miracle fabric is a lifesaver. Its adhesive power is so great, once it's applied, it can never be removed. Not even surgically. This material is ideal for patching chinks in spacecraft armor. Too bad we've only got one of these, because the ship sure has a lot of holes. Most spaceship repair kits are easy to use and handy to have around. This one is a bit old. Its adhesive power is waning, so I will let it go at a discount. The red tape? Yeah. My analysis has concluded that this object possesses powerful adhesive abilities. Could there possibly be anything like this sticky? Anything else that's sticky? It's unlikely, but the universe is a big place. This item has absorbed the anger of the natural world and turned it into raw adhesive power. With the short attention span of today's society, it has almost internal endur er, eternal endurance. That is all of the item sets. Ooh. Yeah, for now. For now. Wait, no! Healing cask and survival ointment. In a survival situation, the most important things are water, courage, and a first aid kit. I've got water and endless supply of courage, but I don't have a first aid kit. Sometimes I don't have a whole lot of motivation either. I may be a daring explorer, but sometimes I just want to loaf around all day and sleep. Wait, what if the president reads this journal? <clears throat> I'd never dream of slacking on the job, yeah. Yeah. A must-have medical item for explorers. If you need powerful results, this is for you. It even comes with a testimonial from our employees. Use this and fear nothing ever again. I'm shocked. I can't believe this is the only stock of medical supplies we've got. If one of us were to get ill or injured, we'd be in serious trouble. We'll have to be sure to watch our step and always wash our hands. We could also search for medicine among the treasures we've collected. What is that? Carmex for cold sores. What is Or I'm checking. Carmex? Carmex. Lip balm. So both of those are lip balm. <laughs> yeah. How are the, those aren't meds? A dependable item in crucial times. Stay safe by keeping this one at home and one at the office. Keeping one at home and one at the office? It is indispensable. If you are health conscious, buy this. <laughs> Did I go? I don't know. I went over these. When people study mysterious objects, they tend to overthink everything and get easily stumped. For example, this is just a lid. Or is it? <laughs> Wait, oh, I don't have the set. Because I'm missing this one. Alrighty. Sounds good. That does it for Bickman. Tomorrow we'll finish it off. Hole of Heroes. Yeah. And then the above ground. Wow. Yeah, no, that'll be quick, actually. Alright, take Bot care, Pippi. Pikmin. Pikmin.